What if I told you the universe doesn't exist the way you think it does? What if objects don't have real properties until the point in time you measure them? This isn't philosophy. This is physics of the sort that has won the Nobel Prize. For centuries, we have relied on two fundamental rules. First, objects exist regardless of whether we look at them. Second, the speed of light. Nothing can be quicker. These rules made up all the things we believe to be real in the universe. Next, physicists made a terrifying discovery. There can be two particles. After a connection has been established, a change in one will automatically lead to a change in the other. Even if they're separated by entire galaxies, no signal, no delay, instant connection. According to a letter sent to Max Born, Einstein called this spooky action at a distance. He thought the universe had to be locally real, so he predicted that quantum physics was incomplete. In 1964, physicist John Bell came up with a simple test. If the universe is locally real, which some theories of quantum gravity suggest, some measurements have to maintain definite limits. If they don't, then reality itself breaks. Scientists conducted the experiment again and again for decades with increasing precision. Every single time, local realism failed the test. Particles did not act like independent objects. They functioned as a single entity, even across impossible distances. The conclusion was inescapable. The universe is not locally real, which means objects lack well-defined properties before measurement. Things aren't really separated by distance. Reality does not consist of discrete elements. The universe is not composed of parts. It's all one system pretending to be many. Your body, your phone, the stars, they are not really isolated from one another. Here's the million dollar question. If reality isn't complete until it's observed, then what was the universe before life existed? Prior to the first eyes, was reality a thing waiting to be chosen? A machine can measure, a detector can measure. But what is observation really? A mechanical action? Perhaps something more. You don't live inside a solid universe. You live in a reality that becomes real only when interacted with. The universe doesn't choose what becomes real. Observation does.